Hey guys, David with First Place Auto Parts. And you know, when it comes time to upgrading your brake system, one of the key components are your brake calipers. And brake calipers play an important role, not only in your day-to-day -day driving, but also your performance applications. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the difference between a single piston caliper and a multi-piston caliper. And in this case, we're gonna talk about one versus two pistons. And we're gonna better on, give you a better understanding of what the benefits may be and there's a hidden secret to your performance calipers that you may not have thought of, but we're gonna reveal that by the end of the video as well. So guys, stay tuned today. We're gonna to take a look at calipers and specifically how many pistons they have, whether you need multi-pistons for your vehicle and what you're getting for when you buy them. So guys, stay tuned today. We're talking brake calipers. Hey guys, if you like today's video, please consider subscribing to the First Place Auto Parts YouTube channel. We're gonna continually be adding new videos every week and we go to some pretty cool car guy stuff. I'm pretty sure you're gonna wanna see. Now brake calipers, they come in a different, lot of different styles, sizes, and colors, but the reality is they all do the same thing, and that is they take a friction material, in this case it's a brake pad, and they push and they apply that friction material against the rotor when it's spinning, and they, therefore they slow the rotor and the wheel that they're attached to, which is what slows down your vehicle. The most common type of brake caliper is called a floating caliper, and that is because it actually floats on some pins. And what happens when you put it on your brake pedal is the brake fluid goes from your master cylinder down through the brake lines into the back side of the caliper. And what happens is with a floating caliper is the pistons on the back side of this caliper will push on these brake pads and it'll actually push this caliper, the outbound side of the caliper, the brake pad against the rotor. So what you're getting is a squeezing from the piston side, but essentially this whole caliper slides on the pins to slide itself over so it can engage the outside pad. Now in situations where day-to-day -day traffic is involved and you're just driving your vehicle to get from point A to point B, a single piston and caliper these things do a job just fine but for customers or for drivers or enthusiasts who just fine isn't good enough that's when we start to get into the multi-piston calipers like multi-piston calipers offer performance advantage that the single piston caliper just does not offer and that's why most of your performance upgrades when it comes to brake kits, whether it's a full wheel brake conversion kit or just simply upgrading the rotors and calipers on your vehicle, usually have multi-piston calipers. The original GM caliper I have here has a piston surface area of 2.75 inches. It's a big single piston. But what you get with a replacement piston from someone like Willwood or another performance application company is that you get double pistons that have over 10% more surface area. And that reason that's important is the surface area of the pistons in your caliper, that's what's gonna be part of what determines the clamping force that this thing applies to that brake pad to that rotor. Your master cylinder comes into play with how much force is created, but how much force can be applied will have to do with the surface areas of these pistons. So what you do when you get a multi-piston caliper, such as this dual piston from Willwood, is you effectively get more surface area on the backside of these pistons to apply more force to the brake pad, which equates to more stopping power. The second benefit of a multi-piston caliper is that it can apply the force to the back side of the brake pad more evenly and more strategically across that whole brake pad. A single piston caliper on a short brake pad doesn't have a lot of issues. These brake pads have a steel backing plate and as that single piston will cover probably two thirds of the overall area of this brake pad, it can push that brake pad evenly. But when you get into a longer brake pad or a bigger brake pad, what oftentimes you'll get with that single piston caliper is it'll only push right here in the center. And what that can do is it can create that big flex in that brake pad, meaning you don't get effective and efficient brake pad adhesion to the rotor itself. The ends of the brake pad will have a tendency to bow or lift a little bit, and you're getting, with a single piston caliper, you're getting all that force centered in the center of this brake pad. With double piston calipers or multi-piston calipers, the pistons are strategically placed across this brake pad to apply force in general areas where it applies the whole brake pad. The brake pad doesn't have a chance to flex because it's being pushed in a uniform way across the whole back side of the pad. So the other benefit, it's a really big one, is that double dual pistons or multi-piston calipers apply better, more efficient force to the back side of this brake pad. So the whole surface of the brake pad makes contact with the rotor and is applied evenly. 
The third benefit of an aftermarket multi-piston caliper is that, to be quite honest, when they're behind the wheel, they just look cool. Aesthetics is absolutely something that's important when we're upgrading our brakes. We don't do this not to look good. So the reality is that an aftermarket multi-piston caliper, including these both of these dual piston calipers, just look better than the cast OEM caliper. Look, the OEM caliper wasn't really designed to look good. It was usually behind a steel wheel or an aluminum wheel that just didn't have very big windows in it, so you didn't see it. It kind of worked behind the scenes. But when you go to larger wheels or aftermarket wheels that have large windows where you can see the rotor and the caliper, these things really stand out. Now, you can get all these calipers powder-coated in a black or a red. They even have caliper paint that you can paint your calipers any color you want, and I've seen, unfortunately, every color under the sun be applied to these things but the third big difference with that I should say beyond aesthetics is the weight of these things the OE caliper this thing was cast in cast iron this thing weighs quite honestly a fair amount of weight the performance application your multi-piston calipers are either machine or cast out of aluminum this OE caliper it weighs if not twice it weighs might weigh even weigh three times as much is this aftermarket dual piston caliper. And why that's important to you is that that has to do with what's called unsprung weight. Unsprung weight is at the end of your suspension, has to do with your wheels and your brake assembly. And unsprung weight has everything to do with how your suspension, your shock absorbers and your springs react to irregularities in the road, such as potholes or under performance driving, has to do with compression and rebound dampening characteristics. By reducing the unsprung weight, you improve the suspension of your car. It's probably something you didn't even know with when it comes to brakes, that you can improve the suspension, how your suspension responds, just by lightening up either your wheel, or in this case, your brake caliper with these aluminum calipers. Dual piston calipers like these in front of me offer not only performance upgrades for your braking system, your suspension as well can help it work a little better, but they also look better. Look, it's a no-brainer. If you're going to spend the money to upgrade your brake system, do it right and do it right the first time. Single piston calipers, they have their place. They may not be for everybody, but if you want the most out of your brake system or your brake upgrade or your four-wheel disc brake kit, be sure to specify the multi-piston, in this case, the two-piston calipers. Look, these things don't cost a ton more, and it's a great upgrade. Not only do they perform better, they look better, and they're going to help your suspension perform better as well. Guys, at First Place Auto Parts, we have everything you need to upgrade the performance of your brake system. It doesn't matter if you have a classic American muscle car or a late model car or truck. We have everything you need when it comes to either single piston or dual piston caliper and brake kits and four-wheel disc brake conversion kits and a lot of different options and upgrade opportunities. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully you have a better understanding of where the single versus the two piston caliper discussion comes in. If you're upgrading your brakes, seriously consider the two piston calipers. They're a wonderful upgrade and they have a lot of benefits. The single piston, look, this thing has served people well for a long time. It has its place and we have that option for you too. Either way you go, make sure you understand what you're getting into and buy it as a complete kit because when you start changing bore sizes, you're going to want to make sure you get the right master cylinder that's matched to those kits as well. It'll have everything to do with how your brakes operate. And at First Place Auto Parts, we have match kits that so will fit your needs. Guys, until next time, keep the hammer down and keep it between the guardrails.